Hello, cyber citizens. Welcome to What the Science, the place where you get your answers with the science behind it. This is Facto Science. In this section, we explain the science behind mysteries, fiction, technology, etc. Before starting with the topic, here is Facto Science question. Name the animal which is considered immortal and can live forever. Stay tuned to find out the correct answer. And now get ready to flex your brain muscles because we are going to get started. Whales are huge aquatic creatures that are expert swimmers and perfectly adapted to underwater life. But you may be surprised to know that these mammals once walked on four legs. About 50 million years ago, their ancestors used to roam around on land with limbs instead of flapping around. Meet Pachycetus, a good-sized, four-legged creature that scientists recognize as one of the first cetaceans. Cetaceans are the group of marine animals that includes dolphins and whales. How Pachycetus' descendants evolved into whales is one of the most intriguing evolutionary journeys known to science. Pachycetus looked nothing like a whale. It lived on land on the edge of lakes and riverbanks in what is now Pakistan and India. It hunted small land animals and freshwater fish, and could even hear underwater. Eventually, the relatives of this animal ventured further into the water and evolved to cope with their new environment. One species of these relatives was called the Ambulocetus. It lived in or near estuaries about 50 to 48 million years ago. Like Pachycetus, it spent time both in and out of water. But its large feet looked more like flippers than its ancestors' longer legs. It also used its tail for swimming. The next member in this evolutionary journey is Dorudan, which lived 40 to 33 million years ago. This 5 meter long animal had proper flippers and tiny hind legs. It lived entirely in the water and was a good swimmer. It also gave birth to its young underwater. Within 10 million years, for the age of Pachycetus to Dorudan, cetaceans had completely adapted to life in the water. That sounds like a long time, but in evolutionary terms, this is considerably fast. The descendants of Dorudan went on to evolve into modern whales. About 34 million years ago, a group of whales began to develop a new way of eating. They had flatter skulls and feeding filters in the mouths. These are called baleen whales which include blue whales and humpback whales. Some whales even kept the teeth. This group includes dolphins, porpoises, orcas and sperm whales. So the evolutionary story of whales are majestic and wonderful as the mammal itself. So that's it from this episode of Facto Science. You can watch other episodes by clicking on the link above. And if you liked the episode, hit the thumbs up button to let us know. If you have any comments, suggestions and ideas for future episodes, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe because we make videos every week. Also please depress the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. You can also follow us on Twitter. And do like our Facebook page. All the links are provided in the description below. Thank you for watching. Coming back to our Facto Science question. The answer is Turritopsis dorni. Turritopsis dorni, the immortal jellyfish, is a species of small, biologically immortal hydrozoan found in the Mediterranean Sea and in the waters of Japan. Hope this video created a spark in your grey cells and helped you to understand the intricacies. We will meet again soon with another video. Till then stay curious and keep learning.